Good morning, my friends. It's a real nice, crispy Monday morning in Sacramento, Kentucky. And uh, I welcome you to this video. This video is about three men, Paul, Philemon, and Onesimus. I'll explain in just a minute. Father God, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for this story a short one-chapter book in the Bible in the New Testament, Lord. It's a wonderful book. It teaches us love, compassion, and understanding. Oh, do we need those three. Love, compassion, and understanding. Teach us, Lord, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To give you a quick summary of Philemon, this book is just one chapter, and it talks about the Apostle Paul writing a letter to his friend Philemon, whom he had led to Christ many years ago. And he wrote a letter on behalf of Onesimus, who was a slave that Philemon owned. This slave rebelled against Philemon, he stole from him, and then he ran away. In the course of time, Paul and Onesimus were in the same place at the same time. Paul was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, and Onesimus heard it, and he gave his life to Christ. Now, Paul had compassion on Onesimus. He knew that he had received Jesus and he had asked forgiveness for his sins. So he writes this letter to Philemon, asking him also to forgive Onesimus. And he told him, if there's anything owed to you, put it on my account. Paul said, put it on my account. Wow. Paul was very persuasive. He wanted Philemon to take Onesimus back into his home, where he had stolen from him, and, and Philemon uh, um, knew that uh, Onesimus one time um, stole from him and ran away. And um, it brings up the whole subject of slavery. Is slavery is never good. Sometimes we are enslaved ourselves by the sins we commit. We are enslaved by habits that we have. We are enslaved by thoughts that we think. Slavery as a means of owning people is never right. It's not right now. It's never going to be right. And there are some places in the world today where there are still slaves. And it's terrible. The issue here in Philemon, however, is... Paul is asking Philemon to let a brother in Christ back into his home, back into his life. And if anything was owed, to put it on Paul's account, he'd pay for it. He's putting his uh, money where his mouth is, common saying today. He was going to back it up. I think you've gotten the point, but I want you to get it even more deeply. There are people that have done you wrong. There are people that have hurt you in some way, shape, or form. And in the course of time, they have gotten right with God, and you need to rejoice. Don't judge people by their past. Judge people by their relationship to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We're not supposed to judge. And, and people laugh and make fun about being fruit inspectors, but that's not really a funny thing. We need to put ourselves in the place of Christ. What would he do? What would he say? How would he handle this situation? And if you do that... You will never make a mistake. It's hard to do. It's hard to turn that cheek. 
It's hard to walk that second mile. It's hard not to fight back. Paul was a master at conversing with people and convincing them in a wonderful way that following Christ is a better alternative. I say to you today, following Christ is a better alternative. Let us pray. Thank you, Father God, for this time. Thank you for Philemon, Onesimus, and Paul. And that this trilogy of people and events, Lord, could teach us many, many things that we need to know. Lead, guide, and direct us this day, Lord, and let us ponder this little book in the New Testament, Philemon. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. You have a wonderful day. And if the Lord is willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.